It's me, it's Anthony Couch here, a guitarist on YouTube. I bought an amp, you might have seen in my previous video, I bought an amplifier, I went for the Boss Katana uh, 100 watt 2x12 cab, and I just thought I'd make this video just to explain why, not like I feel like I have to, just because I've got to come up with some content, <laughs> but no, we might, we might start a discussion, uh, why I went with digital over a valve amp. <laughs> So I've still got the rolling cube, but I thought I need to upsize, maybe future-proof it if I ever want to gig properly with it. And I went in with the mindset of wanting a valve amp. And I tried the Marshall DSL and a HT1 Blackstar and Boss Katana. I was in this little soundproof room and I was just playing away. After a few minutes it just became apparent that I was never going to go for one of the valve amps. And in this video I'm going to explain what my thought processes behind that was. <laughs> So number one was the volume. I'm in my little soundproof room and uh, I crank up the katana and my I'm completely stone deaf in one ear so this ear was completely bleeding. It was loud, it was a loud amplifier. I tried the Marshall amp, it was a loud amplifier. I tried the Blackstar, it was a loud amplifier. Um, however, the katana still retains much of its tone at lower temperatures, <laughs> at lower uh, Volumes. Uh, it's a 100 watt amp, you can take it down to 50 watt or even just half a watt. And the other valve amps, if I wanted to get any kind of workable tone, so just practice upstairs, downstairs, wherever, I'd have to really go loud with those amps. <laughs> then let's not miss out the, the obvious one, the cost. So for this little DSL 40, I didn't want anything massive, so it was just the 40 watt DSL. I think that's something like just under 500 pounds. Uh, and the Blackstar, very small, a bit out of size, um, and that was about 260 or something. The Boss, just over 300. And that's for the two, two 12 inch speaker combo amp. So, I think what happened was, I tried the Katana first, and I got really good sound by accident. Twiddle some knobs got a really good sound, different sound. Went on a different channel, moved something, turned this knob, got a really good sound. So I was just getting good sound by accident. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not a master of tone, I'm not picky when it comes to guitar tone. So I was more than happy with, with this big massive box that could do loads of different things, rather than feeling like I'd, I'd, in the future, have to sit to tweak to get just one tone. I don't know, is it, is it limiting to get a valve amp? So in my eyes, versatility won on that day. And you plug it into your PC, it gives you all sorts of different stuff that I'm still trying to figure out how to work. In the video, you're listening to a bit of a lead sound. I'm kind of happy with it, it's a bit retro sounding, but I quite like that. But then that's the good thing. It'll change, my taste will change, and this amp will account for that. So you might hate the tone that I've got in this solo that you're hearing now, but whatever, whatever, it's easy to change. So yeah, nice, nice amp that can go super loud, also sounds good, super quiet. Maybe in the future I will go down that valve avenue, but for now I'm very happy with my purchase, and I'm still figuring out how to use it. Uh, any tips or your thoughts on valve versus digital, let me know in the comments below. It is so good to hear from you in the comments and there's a few regulars that pop up uh, in the comments. I do read the names, the little usernames, and I know who you are. Uh, so it's good to see you again, but if you don't usually comment, just come and say hello. That'd be well good. I've been Anthony Coach. Uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.